getting a medal from the president when I went to go shake his hand I tripped and kind of punched him in the neck in the neck I tripped you sucker punched the president in the neck you just love making me look like an asshole don't you you know you should have been a tabloid journalist oh screw you oh I'm sorry I forgot that your subject both your parents were killed by tabloid journalists uh-huh where are we going anyway what uh the Just hear me out. You said we were gonna go play mini golf. <laughs> Respectfully, Professor. I can't actually believe you fell for that. I love mini golf. Yeah. Um, listen. There's this secret military base. Oh, please, not another bullshit website conspiracy. It's not bullshit. They're doing illegal scientific research. Turn the car around. Human experiment. Frank. Turn the car around. Frank! Please! Frank! <laughs> All the times we've talked after class, have I ever intimated that I wanted to return to Willamette? It'll be fine. You need to relax. Yeah, she says before the screaming starts. Ugh. You're the one who always says that I take crap photos on my phone. You do. So, who better to learn than from a world-class photographer? That's my camera. Yeah, it was hanging in your closet. Which was locked. Not very well. Listen, the source says body bags going in and out. Rumors of human trials, abandoned missile site? Come on, Frank. How can you say no to this? No. Frank. This is our chance. Please. All right, when well, I'm driving. What? No, this is my car.
Wait, 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 wait. All right. Some ground rules. This is my story now. What? You are here to learn. Remember two minutes ago, this was my story. You were here to watch and learn how a real investigative journalist does his shit in the field. With nothing but his notes, his camera, and his fucking balls. You got it? Wow. Number two. Your source said illegal human experimentation, which means there may be some shit you do not want to see. Yeah? If that happens, you will stay cool. You will get the notes, I'll take the pictures, and we'll get the story, and we'll get out. Okay. You want to break the story, you don't want the story to break you. Got it. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. This goes well, you get the next one. Fist bump. No. Come on, just do it. I, I, no, I can't. Too cool for school, huh? I see. We got some work to do. Crazy old mofo. Your contacts say how to get inside? Yeah. There's a security card hidden in a shed somewhere. All right, then. Here we go. There's a shed. I'll check it. You keep an eye out. Yeah. You got it. Found it. Now what? It opens a door nearby. Come on. Okay, just slow down, Nancy Drew. I don't want to get shot, okay? Hey, get down! Oh, shit. I got coffee inside. Come on. They're not going anywhere. No way this is some reservist training center. Those guys were dressed for combat. And what's with the masks? I saw them. Look, can you just calm down a bit? Whatever's here, we're not leaving without it. It's a promise. Oh, yeah? Knew you had a Frank West in there somewhere. Shut up. You think? I have done this before. Or you know. Uh, I wonder what the weather's like back home. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. Find out. Oh, 
Ooh, I can work with this. All right, last cell. You ready, Professor? Do it! That's it! Thanks for nothing! Just like old times. Hang on. I'm coming down. Nick, I forgive you. This is way better than mini-golf. <sighs> wow. A little callous, don't you think? They're just zombies, Vic. I know. It's just... They were people once. Look, it was them or me. Can we just get on with the reportage? All right, all right. I'm with you. Bingo. Some kind of laboratory? You take notes, I'm gonna shoot this stuff. I think this equipment is for stimulating changes in the brain. What, are you a med student too? Nah, I just read a lot of sci-fi. It looks like they've been operating on them. There's already a vaccine for zombieism. So what's the point? It's creepy, whatever it is. Zombrex. This stuff suppresses zombieism if you get bit. Yeah, but everyone's immune to the parasite now. Shit. Where do they even get these zombies? Look, we don't need all the answers, just enough to sell the story. Come on, let's keep moving. Too dark. Turn on your night vision filter. My what now? Oh, I added a bunch of new filters to your camera. So after the prerequisite amount of old man grumbling, give it a try. Huh. Neat. Anything interesting? I'm looking, I'm looking. This is some kind of surveillance room. Come on, let's take a look. Physically, she's symptom free. Now that's a big improvement. Otherwise, no change. Why am I looking at this? We're not improving the treatment, we're perfecting it. What the client is expecting, it's... This is the type of project that requires a lifetime of research. Now the progress you see is... If you can't meet the deadline, Doctor, you'll be replaced. Put this one with the others. Zombies. Imprisoning them. But what for? For observation. They're trying to create something. Shit. Frank, we're gonna stop these assholes, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. We get the story, we get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's all we do. Hmm. Something you want to say? Always. Shit, this door is code locked. You can hack the code with your spectrum analyzer. Let me guess. You messed with my camera again, right? You're a quick one. Uh, that's what she said. This is subject 324B21. You may begin. I've never seen a zombie freak out like this before. God, Frank, look at her. She's suffering. Yeah, and the only way forward is through this chamber. Hey, ugly. Interesting. Who wants barbecue? No? No one? Holy shit, Frank. This is some atrocity level shit going on here and the best you can do is crack wise? That is unfair. I have photographed things and thought about things. 
You don't actually care what's happening to these people, do you? Look, let's just get what we came for and get out of here, okay? Okay. Wow. God. Their faces are all the same. Yeah. Big family, you think? Shut up. You know what this is? Yeah. DNA test results. It's another one. What are these bastards doing? They're cloning people. Manufacturing fodder for zombie research. Experimenting on them, imprisoning them. Vic, this story's gonna win us every award on the planet, so please, please, just stay focused long enough for us to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. That's someone crying. Vic, we have what we need. Let's go now. Vic, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> well, that's creepy. What a shot. Oh, yeah, that's really good. They're gonna be testing some kind of bioweaponized version of the virus. Get ah! go! go! Damn it! What the hell are you doing? What happened to get the story and get out? I couldn't just. I couldn't just. Stay calm, Vic. That's what I said. Stay fucking calm. Now you put us both in danger. You're just gonna leave her? Just use her? We for need to what? get out of here. Do you understand me? For your pictures? Your stupid pictures? I'm a reporter, Vic. That's what I do. I report. And if you can't do the same, if you can't take yourself out of the picture, then you should get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Last five seconds. It's in there. Huh. Maybe there's something out here I can. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh yeah, now we're talking. for this shit. Holy crap! I think these are the gate controls. Looks like another code lock. All right, you meatheads. We've got an intruder tearing up the place and the commander wouldn't be very impressed if we just let it happen. So shut up, suit up, and clean up. Understood? Sir, sir yes, yes sir. sir. What's happening? Oh, look at that. My bad. All right, you better be at the car. What the? No! No! Vic! 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 Oh, shit! 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 Oh, crazy. 
Depends. On? How well you work with others. Oh, well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> Just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? A little fresh air, you know. <laughs> It seems I have some time in my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on US soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. I'm all up on it, thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything on the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? Oh. The Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows, Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Hell, the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But... <clears throat> All that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many outbreaks I've been part of? How many I've covered? And what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers. Just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headliner Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on US, so I photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire US government for their involvement with it, and they bury me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. You come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit. And you do it right this time. Frank, 
Frank, there's a lot more at stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Oh. Uh, uh, I think you... Whoops. <clears throat> Vic. Mm. Hell of a team you've assembled. Coming up on Willamette. Capture or kill, your discretion. Saying that. Oh, oh man, somebody broke your helicopter. There's that keen I've heard so much about. Hold them off. We need some of this gear. Hold them off? With what? Grab a gun, Frank. Frank! Frank! What the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, what? God, yeah, zombies. of course! See what you can do with this! God damn, food court zombies are the worst! All right, let's get out of here. Come on! Cover. That hotel looks good. Eh, three stars are best. You ever stop clowning? I should take a good look around. Fine, just meet me at the hotel.
the scenic route. Fine, just meet me at the hotel. Yeah, scenic route's a little too scenic. Perfect! Perfect! people vaccinated? Yes, they were. Required by law. Nationwide. Doesn't make sense. I guess. Sorry. Sorry. Had to stop for a samosa. Hey. Samosa? Hey! Come over here before they see ya! All right! Grab a gun! I got a shit ton of them! Shouldn't be too hard. Can we get a room? Separate beds, though. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, technically speaking, you'd be our first guest. What do you mean? Are you guys from out of town or something? All this shit started on Black Friday, which, not coincidentally, was the day after the grand opening sale. You're saying this mall wasn't even open one day before it got destroyed by zombies? We gotta move. That door lead to the maintenance hallway? Yeah, but the manager locked himself in there when he got bit. Been trying to bust it down for, like, ever. Come on! Hey! Hey! We got trouble! Cover me! Yeah! Well, I get the you got it, you fascist! Target's front center! Get on it! Ugh! 
Great timing! Sick of this place. We're good. Let's go. You were an asshole, Ted, but you didn't deserve this. I'm Connor, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm investigating the outbreak. You know anything about how it started? I know these military assholes were guarding something super secret near the mall front entrance, but there was this journalist. What journalist? And she had a boy's name. Can't remember. Vic. Where's Vic now? She was holed up in the mall security center for a while. Might still be there. <sighs> we should head for the security center. Might be some weapons there. Good plan. Except I'm going solo. What? Look, this outbreak is almost certainly some kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk-offs. And now I need to find out why. And I'm not gonna be able to do that with some flatfoot holding my leash. No offense. All right, I'll head into town, look into relief efforts. You learn something, you clue me in. Yeah, if I get time. All right, I'm out of here. There's a militia forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. Good luck to you, West. The luck I got. What I need is a big, wet, juicy scoop. Huh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines! Frank West, beloved photographer and just generally awesome guy. You won! Come to the center for you to play in your pride. Please note that all the prizes are not transferable. No cash value, no exchange, no insurance, no empty. May not be used. And curse black! Whoa, what's this? All right. Connor says Vic's holed up at the security center. 
You gotta find out what she knows. Then I'm gonna kick her scrawny ass out of town. Holy shit! What's your problem? Ready to die? What the hell? I won't be any trouble. You sick asshole! Zombification used to take days. What the hell was that? Not smell good in here. I hope this is not thick. Those are popular. <sighs> <sighs> oh! Oh! What happened? Did you kill them all? You been here long? You know anything about a reporter named Vic? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was holed up in this room for a while. Left some of her stuff here. Go on. Take a look. And hey, I owe you one, pal. I was running a shop here till someone left the goddamn front door open. You need something? Come see me in a few. That's Vic's handwriting on the wall. Must be the place. Shit! She hasn't been here for weeks. Front entrance. Huh. Hmm. I need a different approach. Well, looky here.
This is military hardware. It looks like Vic's been using it to upload reports. Cute. All right. So the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance. And Connor said this PMC was guarding the entrance. Well, I think I need to go take a little look myself. Survive, don't you? How's the weather out there? Good choice. work out a deal. Heard you talking to yourself. If you're heading to the front entrance, you should take the garage towards Medieval Village. Every other way's been sealed off since the military showed up. Careful, though. Those idiots with the gas masks have built some kind of stronghold out in Medieval Village. You go, you better go ready for a fight. Better stock up while you can. Huh. Okay. We can work out a deal. You want something? Yeah, you'll need that for sure. Don't go without, okay? Very not good. shelter where it's safe. I am going to get my ass bit off if I stand out here too long. I think I saw that. She's been uploading some kind of reports. I 
found her first one. Let me play. Alright, Big Chu. Day one. Willamette is lost. Full-scale outbreak, the Horde is everywhere. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands dead. These paramilitary asshats are just a piece of the puzzle. The government did this. And when I prove that, when I unmask the masterminds... Well, maybe I'll convince even the mighty Frank West that journalism is worth more than a fat paycheck. That's about a month old. Shit! She's way ahead of me! I'll try to find some more. In the meantime, keep an eye out for those terminals. Park out. Guess I'll give it a shot. <sighs> Beg pardon, my lord, but this here's the sovereign land of the mighty Queen Sandra. So he can go and fuck us right off! Well, hey there! I did not know the historical shithead society was in town. What did you just say to me? Well, if Queen Sandra is half as inbred as she sounds, then she's my kind of lady. You'll pay for that! Your mother was a gopher and your father smells of body spray. Hey! Open up! So I can teach this old fart a lesson! Hey, Tin Man! I'm not the bad guy here!
Aren't you a little old for dress up? I just want through! You guys are nuts! just happened. Now, Vic seemed to think the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance. Better go check it out. Whoa, something major going on. What the? Yeah. Can 
We call a timeout! Just a little one! What's going on here? I just killed everyone who knows the entry code. It is amazing how useful this filter is. Set my balls on fire. What the shit happened here? What the hell am I even looking at? These military assholes were investigating what happened here. Says all these people were lined up for the big Black Friday sale. Guess they got more than they bargained for. Soldiers didn't do this, and the zombies definitely didn't do this. So what the hell is going on here? Oh my God! Look at this. I've been trying to get in here for weeks. Holy shit! Hey, hey! What are you doing? Get out of here! Calm down, pal. There's plenty to go around. Hey, buddy! My scene. Beat it. Oh, you're Frank West. You, you're the hero of Willamette. Hey, man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together, you know? Share the story. Right. Seriously. Hey, oh, you have to meet my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, editor. Paula, she's, she's got a podcast. This really popular podcast. She's been investigating these Obscurus guys for weeks. Obscurus? That's the name of this outfit? Yeah, Paula's an expert on them. You know, actually, I would love to meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall, in Old Town. Yeah, I, go talk to her. <laughs> Shit, I can't wait to see her face when she hears I got Frank West working for us. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. See you around. Well, Willamette, you're certainly still full of surprises.
So this guy, Brad Park, director of ZDC, says there's an outbreak in Willamette, and little Vicky Chu is already there, getting the scoop. My scoop. So, we're flying over Willamette. Wham! Rocket hits us. I quickly learned two things. One, Vic's been here for goddamn weeks, and she took an interest in this paramilitary group and the goings-on at the mall's front entrance, which, and this is the second thing I learned, turns out to be the bloodiest, ugliest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. Definitely not front page material, depending on the publication. So Obscurus isn't the only act in town, but they sure ain't handing out blankets either. So I'm heading into Willamette. Maybe find out what they're up to and who's footing the bill. Fingers crossed. Uh, hello? Is this Frank West, savior of Willamette? Yes, though I also answer to Hey Asshole or Frank Who. Yeah, I'm Paula, as in the undead gospel of It's my zombie podcast! Darcy gave me your number! Oh, brother. So, uh, I hear you have something for me? Yeah. Meet me at the archives department at City Hall. The door's around back. And Frank, come alone. God damn, my fans are weird. a million zombies out there, and I'm gonna drive through them. Help me out for a second? Uh, with what? We're gonna get creative. Grab that blueprint, will ya? All right, let's put this baby together. Wow, you've never done this before, have you? I only took shop class to meet girls. Well, I think my chances are better on my own. All right, here. You give it a try. Uh, thanks. What ifs? I'll open the gate for you. May as well roll up to City Hall and style.
Well, that figures.
Nope, I'm not getting in. Those are popular. Hey, how's stock up while you can? All right, you now go. Get, I've got what you need. Hey, good choice. Not out there. Looks like Obscurus was here. I sure cleared out in a hurry. All right, Paul said the door was around the back. Psst! Frank! Over here! Are you Darcy's girlfriend? What's going on here? I'm his editor, and this was a major Obscurus outpost until 40 minutes ago. Wait a minute. You're Paula? You sound totally different on the radio. Oh, yeah, that's my character. Character? Yeah, I realize no one listens to me unless I'm yelling all the time. And also, it's kind of fun. Uh... So, if you're ready to listen, maybe you should look around and see what Obscurus was doing here. Right. I will. Thank you. Flip car. Car on a roof. Do you know what these are? A trail of destruction. And Obscurus was following it. Can't see anything in here. Oh, 
yeah. Need the best angle. The sewer and sanitary records are missing. Those sewers run pretty deep. Who knows what lurks below? This says they have a reconnaissance outpost at the top of Dodd's drugstore. And just what are the reconnoitering? They're looking for something, and it's something pretty dangerous. Do you know anything about this outpost at Dodd's Drugs? Yeah. There's been a sniper camped out there for weeks. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Sounds good. Just so you know, all 512 of my podcast subscribers are gonna be pretty excited about us working together. Yeah, well, uh, I Don't know I am. Me, See ya. What do we have here? Mercenary friends are calling themselves Obscurus. These types don't usually keep the same name from op to op, but I'll look into it. Speaking of ops, I think they're running a manhunt or possibly some other kind of hunt. Well, this is Dodd's drugs. The outpost must be on the second floor. But now I just gotta get up there. Zombies do this? What do we got? Huh. Let's try it. Large game tranquilizers. Some of these are empty. Can't quite make up the subject here. Holy shit. No zombie could have done this. Or at least I hope not. Whatever they're hunting, I think it's hunting them back. Fall back. The orders are to fall back. Do not engage. Sounds like they're fighting something. I wonder if I can listen in. Mission aboard. I repeat, the mission has been aborted. All troops fall back to the fire hall. Regroup and re-equip. Copy.
What the hell are you guys after? Huh. Guess I know where I'm headed next. Not bad. Hey, it's Paula. While you're out there, I need you to run down a few stories for the podcast. If I get around to it. I, I'm sending you what I got. Now go forth, Apostle Frank. Get the story. Find the truth. I'll call you later. I think I'll include that one in my next book.
There's no obscures here. They must have been chased off. But where? See what's in the crate. All right, Frank. Are you responsible enough to wear one of these? This was supposed to be a fallback point for Obscura, so who brought all the zombies? Or what? Four outposts, City Hall, the drugstore apartment, the fire hall, and the junkyard. Something ate his face skin off and hung him here. Says over a hundred soldiers have died hunting this thing? Son of a bitch. I need to get to the junkyard. Whatever this thing is, it's got a real hate on for Obscurus.
shit. Paula, I was uh, just about to call you. Shh. The junkyard is crawling with obscure soldiers. Yeah, I was just gonna... Hey, why don't you stay here and cover me? Yeah? Good call. I got your back. Lovely. Did you see it? Are you serious? You think if I had, I'd still be here? Target spotted.
Copy that. We'll be there shortly. All right, make it quick. You were attacked by an armed group yesterday. They killed two of your men? One was a man, the other a woman. Tenure officers and friends. I know where they're gonna hit you next. I know how many are going, I know the name of the leader. I know where they hide their food. With that kind of information, it could prevent a lot of unnecessary death. What do you want? 30 minutes, off the record. What the hell are you doing, Vic? Commander, I found this civilian messing around with one of our computers. Darcy. Put him under watch. Get him a meal and a shower. He stinks like shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Miss Chu, you can ask your questions. Lieutenant, she's coming with us. What are you getting yourself into, Vic? Mr. West! It's a shame you're not proving as useful as your friend. Take care of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just another dirty peeping Tom! Come on, let's just sit down and talk about this, all right? So you can get a scoop on me by cozying up with the creeps? Those bastards took Darcy! You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out where they were going. You go. I'll call you when I have something. Well, what you waiting for? <sighs> what was that? I'm getting tired of the Junior Elite News Club. I need to focus on what's going on here. You really should be more careful! Hey, Brad. Obscurus is hunting something. I honestly think it's some kind of horrible zombie monster. Monster? You serious? Yeah, I think it's whatever attacked the mall. I'm off to Westridge to track it. I'll talk to you later. Wait, Frank, tell me. Hello, Paula. Frank, Obscurus has set a trap at the dam. They're gonna catch it there. Really? This shit I gotta see. Talk later. Wait, Frank, tell me. Huh, this could be worth my while. No, 
Guess I lost it. God damn it! What the... Whoops. What the... Son of a bitch! What the hell is this shit? What's your business here? What? What in hell are you doing here, boy? What the hell are you talking about? What am I doing here? These pig-smelling idiots drugged and dragged me here. That's what I'm doing here. Hmm. You a photographer? Yes, I work for National Geographic. They sent me up here to shoot the local indigenous vermin. Oh look, I found you all. <laughs> Great. Two. No food. They send us two goddamn reporters. Whoa, 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 wait. Vic? Was Vic here? She with you? Not really, but I'm kind of her professor. So you got pull with her? Theoretically, yes. Listen. We ain't nothing but good, honest people here. Before this, I was a rancher. I mean, plumber, auction caller, a butcher. Now we're soldiers. Frank, world ain't the same place. <laughs> you want to stay in Willamette? You want to take your pictures? You're going to have to be a soldier too. My soldier. This, this Vic bitch. I took her in, shared our supplies with her. Then she wanted nothing but questions, all about our raids on these military assholes. What? Where? How many weapons we got? <laughs> I thought she wanted in. I thought she wanted in. Now, now my raiders are out there pinned down in a goddamn ambush because they knew that we was coming. Okay, okay, I get the problem. I can deal with Vic, all right? But I need something from you in return. Don't everyone? <laughs> I need into that dam. Huh. Now listen to me. These people are up to something, okay? I need to find out what it is. Well, Frank, only one who might know her way into that dam is my engineer Hammond. She was leading that raid. The one that your little buddy sold us upriver on. Listen, I'm your best option, okay? Let me go and deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's. But hey, don't fuck this up, West. You're one of mine now. Give him the details. Thank you, MacGyver. Cool. I can do this. Not bad. What's the story? Hammond took a few of hers up to Willamette Junior High. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There's gotta be other supplies you could be going after. Tom wants to send a message. I get that impression. Look, Hammond's capable, but she can't hold out for long. You better get up there fast or else Tom will want to poke you next, you hear me? Right. The Junior High. I'm on my way. 
Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to find a roast chicken. I'm dealing with something else right now, okay? I'll talk to you later. Get to relax? I've got what you need. <sighs> <sighs> hey, take care of yourself. Glad I'm not out there. Come on in. Hey, hey listen up. Don't get eaten. Oh. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Glad I'm not out there. Life's a whirlwind, and you're right. 
Sounds like someone fired the first shot. Hang on, Engineer. You're my golden ticket. Back off! Waste your breath! Cover me! Frank West, photojournalist. Guys, god damn it. Frank, these guys need medical attention. Can you keep up scares off us? Sure. You play Florence Nightingale, I'll be Rambo. When this is over, we can switch. How about I just owe you one instead? More baddies, 12 o'clock, or whatever. Make sure that gets bandaged. All right, so you can handle yourself. Yeah, yeah, I covered some horse. Really? Which ones? Uh, listen, Tom said you could get me into the dam. Huh, Tom, right. <laughs> City keys. Around the side of the dam, there's a service door. That should get you in. How did you get the keys to the city? Well, before everything went to shit, I was the city's chief engineer. Pretty much have the whole place memorized. Huh. And you're just gonna give these to me? Yeah, I talked to Vic. She said you were around for the first outbreak. Yeah. Yeah, I was. What else did she say? Well, there was some other stuff. Right. Well, on that note... <clears throat> oh, hey, hold up. Uh, my guys have taken a hit. They need a ride back to Tom. Yeah, sorry, wish I could. Got things to do. <sighs> huh. He really is an asshole. What? Oh, no! Hey, Frank, you still breathing? Yeah, I got tied up in something. You heard of Tom Picton? Local dairy farmer turned resistance leader. One of his people, Hammond. She's helping me get into the dam where Obscurus set a trap for the monster. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll keep an ear on their radio channels. See what turns up. That'd be a real help, Brad. Thank you. You never know. Don't ask God. Oh, 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 oh. There was 
to be on you! Frank. So you're welcome! I just got some analysis back on the reading. This outbreak is immune to the vaccine and to Zombrex. Holy shit. A new strain. An old one. Santa Cabeza are old, so don't get bit. I'll take it under serious advice. Let's see what damning evidence you're hiding. I saw in there I um I can't see you hey, hey there's a light in the corner turn it on oh oh my god Frank hey Darcy how's it going you in a little over your head huh you came to rescue me you really are the savior of Willamette uh, did you guys make that up or is there a cult somewhere I should be leading Oh, man, no, no, Obscurus is in a panic about this monster. I think they know something about it. Something we don't. Yeah. You see, they're a highly funded military contractor, while you, well, you write for your girlfriend's blog. Hey, there's got to be something useful in here. I think it's a briefing room. Hey, come on, ah, untie me. No, 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 you just regain your strength. I got this. It says they've been hunting it since, since before the outbreak occurred. Holy shit. I, I bet they created it, like, like in a secret lab. This is a request to send more exosuits to Willamette. For heavy combat. This monster's too fast, too strong for regular weapons. Well, looky here. Calder. What is that, an acronym? Project? Name? I'm not sure, but they're terrified of it. It's killed their men, and it wants more. And it's moving through the sewers, so they lured it here, to catch it. I can show you where. Uh, uh, untie me, quick. 
We'll go together. What the shit was that? The monster? Frank? Hey, come on. Get me out of here. Sit tight, Darcy. You'll be safe here. Probably. What? Hey, hey, you can't leave me here. Come on, man. Holy shit! Never interviewed a monster before. That's a hell of an exclusive. Could you describe her again, please? Just on the record. Oh, um, sure. She was a middle-aged woman. A bit skittish, you know? But who isn't? Right. Joe said he recognized her, said she was a doctor from up at the training center. She'd come into town to buy snacks and things during her break. And we were gonna call out to her, because, heck, a doctor would be real useful. But... You mentioned she used flash grenades? Yeah, she did. Zombies went down, and then she fiddled with them. Took samples or something. Joe and I took one look at each other and noped right out of there, let me tell you. Thank you so much for telling me. I, I really appreciate it. Would you like a can of spaghetti hoops, or would you prefer dried garbanzo beans? Take whatever you need. <laughs> Yo, search the area. Ah! You hear that?
tell you you talk too much? Yeah, well, you have a funny accent! In Old Town, I learned that Obscurus was hunting something. And whatever the hell it is, it's hunting them back. Speaking of psychos, Vic's been up to no good. Caught her selling out survivors in exchange for an exclusive with the Obscurus commander. She's even crazier than I thought. But not as crazy as the wingnut Tom picked, and he takes the cake. Ex-dairy farmer turned fascist. Yeah, we're BFS now. His engineer, Hammond, gave me a key to the dam. That's where Obscurus lured this thing. She seems cool. We're BFFs now. I caught up to Obscurus just in time to see them ship out this Calder. Whatever the hell that is. So now I'm going after them. Find out who or what this Calder is and why Obscurus is so hell-bent on getting a hold of it. Hearing a lot of radio chatter on Obscurus channels. What's this about a convoy? Obscurus caught the monster and they're moving it by truck. I'm going after him. I'll patch you into the radio chatter. Should help your pursuit. There's something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. I'll look into it. I'm trying to engage. Fall back. Get out of there. Help hey, us stay in your lane. Get Sounds like someone's 
someone's attacking the convoy. Can you tell me who? I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty cutsy for a bunch of farmers. Ah! <laughs> What the hell is going on here? Hmm, I sure do love to smell of burning corpses. Their obscure drivers suck or some bad shit's going down. Got some good supply. Nice. Ooh, boy. I hope I don't run out. Ugh! 
Inventor, godsend. Brad, I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm going to investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you. Lend a hand, will you? Oh, God. You're Frank West. Look, uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need morphine. There's some at the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? All right, all right, I'll think about it. Fine, just hurry. <sighs> Frank, it's Paula. I got some more interesting leads for you. Sending you the details now. Well, you want to survive, don't you? West? I'm sorry, I, I can't see so good. Oh, yeah. You're a good man, West. But look, I, I can't tell you what we were hauling. But I can say that Command, they were calling it a recovery op. We were shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay, if you find a blanket or some booze, yeah, I just...
All right. Now, what the hell is going on here? This door was punched out from the inside. What the hell did this? I have absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna... What was that? My Pulitzer. You gotta go. <sighs> now... Where'd you run off to? Brad, I'm seeing train cars strewn everywhere. You think Calder did that? God, I hope so. Ugh! Brad, the trail leads into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Shit. Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? I know I'm going the right way.
Sure sound pissed. Is this going to be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you whet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm, that did not sound good. <sighs> Frank, I just got word that people are being held prisoner at the pirate ship in Caribbean Cove. Better go check it out, in case they do something crazy. This should be interesting. Something here. You know, I wonder if it's trained zombies. Huh? Maybe have them fight. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to get myself a pet zombie. Name him Lyle. Teach him how to tear out eyeballs on command. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 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 
survived three outbreaks and still have never lost my mind. I mean, I don't think. Something about zombies always brings up the worst in people. Might be the brain parasites. Hmm. Well, good work anyway. Oh! 
cunning prince of traces, the daring Duke of Deals. This <laughs> Is this worth dying for? I guess so! Wow! You make a compelling argument! Out with a discount! So come and join me! Blah, blah, blah! Do not defeat the mighty Captain Black Riding Spear! <laughs> Hey Brad, can you arrange a covert evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story. I keep thinking, this is exactly what Frank would do. Yes, Vic, I am all the evils in the world. When you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Whatever, he was fine. Uh-huh, sure he was. Let me turn on the evac. Park out. Skiris has a detachment here. Well, I am definitely not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. It's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's Get not what I'm here. Shut up! It's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! No, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop. <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. Get out of here, rookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. Fifteen years? 
That's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look. Take a picture if you want. Need the best angle. Holy... That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his. And both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the Horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. on your ass now! Oh yeah. Now we're playing with power. Go. I want to get out of this town. Hasta la vista, baby! Garrus is there.
Oh, man! Wow! Nice digs, buddy. Oh, man. Wow, that's dark. What the hell happened over there? Promising. Hey, Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here, though. They leave anything behind? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> the files are all gone, shit! They took Barbie's computer... stuff. I'd never love to get my hands on that. All right, what do we got? Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. Damn it. It looks like Obscurus confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F-L-A-M-E-L. Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay.
damn you, Barnaby! What? Oh no! Calder. I don't know what it is. Big, that's for sure. And it's got friends. Some kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism? Died years back in the original Willamette outbreak? His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for it. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's gotta be real good. All right, I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. Ammon, it's Frank West. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base. A little busy right now, Frank. Oh, come on, it'll take what, an hour, tops? Why are you whispering? You want to talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which, which house? Ammon! Oh, great. Looks like I'll be knocking on some doors.
Sergio Frank. Just heard some more rumors about weird shit going on in your area. Perfect for the undead gospel. Get a look if you can. Hey, Frank. I've heard rumors of survivors at the local school banding together into some kind of secret society. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm with it. You what the sh it. Sports. Did you take care of it? Good. You see, the Illuminati are totally in bed with corporate sporting, which thrives off the... Ow! Damn it! Got a paper cut from my flow chart.
my apostles say there's a mysterious cult around town pretending to take in survivors. Okay, this sounds sort of pertinent. I don't want to know what they actually do with them. Look into it, but be careful. The second one has arrived! Two arms! No! No! What's your problem? Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses, but which one? strung up by my own spinal cord. <laughs> You in here?
Hey! What happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar, he's banished people, he's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All due respect, boss, but mounting a siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connie. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave them. Another day, another pool hall filled with zombies. Pool Hall is now 100% zombie free. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. <sighs> this post-apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. There you are. Grab that package and we'll get started. 
Jar has it a piss poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera of yours. Found it! Good. Now set the charge and get Claire. Just stare. Now get Claire, Frank. I said get Claire! God damn, not exactly subtle. You said you wanted in. You're in. Shouldn't we do something about this alarm? Not yet. So keep moving. I need to get inside. This is my shot. I'll be locking the door. So don't worry about me. Okay, I've limited security access from here. I've opened the room one door over. Go see if there's anything you can use. Hammond! I've got an exosuit! Wow, good for you. Now destroy the comm tower so they can't call reinforcements. Jeez, is that all? How am I supposed to do that exactly? You're in a robot suit. You figure it out. Oh, shit.
enough for this? Okay, time to get out of here! Okay, you're almost there. You've got a clear path to that. Aw, oh, shit. Problems? I can keep the base entrance open from here, but you need to hurry or I'm zombie food. Hang on, I'm almost there! I think. You talk about an arms race. <laughs> I owe you one, Hammond. Good luck, Frank. Give Fontana hell. All right, I need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. We need to look around. West, I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. Frank is back in Willamette. And surprise, he brought a stupid smug face with him. You know, for a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? Never mind. Screw that guy. You know what? A little radio silence. If you like. Research facility, huh? Based off the work of the late great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? Brain teasers? What, are you gonna send them to college? Yeah. <laughs> 
kiss my ass! Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy. Brad said all the stuff they took from Barnaby's lab will be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Lockdown terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, Dor! I smell zombies. We gotta clear them out before we can do any serious looking. Nice! Great! Now where's this in? God damn, there must be thousands of files here. There we go, Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. There we go. The missing files all stamped November 25th. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. All right, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes. You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm going to take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. How you doing? Oh, damn. <laughs> Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? He got my way. 
Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. McCall, get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. Seizure team is inbound. They're going to be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1,500 hours. My seventh failure. And then... <laughs> September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment remains LC. incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it is likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, caused untold death. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Hands! Get out of there! Move it! Move! Fontana, you don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie Spawn, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. 
I gotta get the hell out of here. Locked! Ugh. There's gotta be a way out of here. How the hell do you Obscurus troops get around? What have we here? Ah, ah, still warm. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! Steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parlay zombieism into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first... The client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies, started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. It's the natural order, Mr. West. I am going to expose you, Fontana! Pretty self-sacrificing for a mercenary. Wolves take care of their back, West.
Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. I gotta get out of this death trap and find Calder. I need that hard drive. Oh God, somebody! Please help! God damn it! God! Thank you. I never shot anyone, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out of here before I change my mind. I will. Damn it, I swear it. a lot less bloody than this. Guess that's it for Obscurus. Are you there? Ah, oh, shit. Keep it together, Hammond. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. This place is out of control. I'm gonna find some higher ground, get a better look. Those aren't zombies. Oh, wow, electric fence. Well, I have zero interest in a free defibrillation, thanks. Brad, 
Flashing orange lights. What do they mean? Override lockdown. Nothing gets in or out until the system is reset. There's a panel around back. Hit the reset switch and the exterior doors will open. And that's what I gotta do. Hold on. What about Calder? Saving Hammond won't get you that Pulitzer. Like, uh, yeah, I know, Brad. It's just... I owe her one, all right? Systems reset, Frank. Get in there fast, or the zombies will get to Hammond before you do. Oh, shit, I hadn't thought about that. Go! <laughs> Hammond, I'm here to rescue you! Connor? Uh, no idea, but I'm taking care of it! Hey, uh, Brad! There are a lot of zombies in here! No kidding. There'll be three doors. You'll need to shut them from the inside. Gotta get to Hammond! What do you mean? She's not here? Tom's people took her and Jordan. We tried to go back for her, but those hillbilly dicks hit the lockdown. Tom's probably holding her at the farm. I'll go check. Keep your radio on. I'll shout if I learn anything. Thanks, bud. Glad you're one of the good guys. Maybe I should check that out. We are of mind, young apostle. Only watch your ass. Those farms creep me right the hell out. Death once stalked these hills. A man accused of most gruesome kills. Now his soul lives on, as does his thirst to end. His darkling presence 
Helsing Willemadsen! Wow, that's not creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said you could throw a party? No, no, no! no. I can you! Yes! Fight! Fight and die! I got this! I got this! Blood! 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 And death! Now cometh the Scare King! Take care of yourself. Do you really believe that?
I am idiot. Where's Hammond? No idea. I thought she'd be here with you. No, they split us up. Son of a bitch. Tom's gonna kill her, Frank. We'll find her. You stay here and look around. I'll check out the rest of the farm. Hammond! Hang on, Hammond! I'm here to rescue you! Shit, that did not sound oh. Coming from his closet? Okay. That's, um... A lot of scuff marks on the ground. Aha! Secret entrance! Wait, what the shit? A secret entrance? For real? No Hammond. All right, maybe there's some clue as to where they took her. <laughs> Kylie Hammond, sentenced to death for the crime of high treason. Holy shit. <laughs> Tom's keys. I bet these open every door on the compound. What the? I've seen these before. This is what those whack job looters wear. I need to take a closer look. Take the masked boys and meet me at the Kippix. Masked boys? God damn! That's one Machiavellian dairy farmer. what crazy looks like. Brad, Tom's gonna execute Hammond. He took her to that Kippick cement factory North Peak. Are you anywhere near there? I wouldn't make it in time, Frank. I need to get ZDC evacs for the civilians now that Obscurus is out of the way. Shit! It's up to me, then. What do you know? Frank West, the hero Willamette deserves. Yep, a shitty hero for America's shittiest town.
Are we not human? Huh? Did we not sacrifice everything to preserve our own? Is that Tom? Sounds like it's coming from the roof. We... If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe I can get up there from one of the other buildings. Are you ready to die? <sighs> huh? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Construction. Well, maybe I can just punch my way through. You guys are the worst zombies ever, like the Hitlers of zombies. We'll destroy those who would see us fall. Jade Hammond. Tom, no! For conspiring against your lord, look at me! And commandeering his rightful possessions and plotting his death! You think you're a leader? You're just a lunatic! What the? You are hereby sentenced to a beheading in accordance with the laws. Nut job! Huh? Set down by me! Bitch! Hey! Over here! Traitor! You think I don't know you were conspiring against me? Huh? I am going to kill you for that, Tom! You and get in the world. 
Just a second, I, I was just trying to protect you. You're all my people. You needed my protection. You call that protection? You, you, you don't understand. Look, a father, he has to make choices for his children. Sometimes... Ah! 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 Nice. Fist bump. Seriously, come on. What, you know? Come on, everybody does it. It's like the end thing. Now I just have to kill a robot zombie marine, and Wilmette will be its old self again. Wait, what? So, there's this zombie in an exosuit, and... Ah, oh, forget it. I need to blow a hole in the sewers. Okay. We can help you with that, at least. I'll have Jordan meet you down there. Thanks, Hammond. You're a real pal. I'm heading back to the sewers. Hammond's people are gonna clear the way for me. You see, this is what happens when you're not a dick all the time. Too bad you can't see what finger I'm holding up. Goodbye? You aren't coming with me? You said there's a zombie in an exosuit down there. Hell no! Just use your camera to find the weak spot. You've done it before, you'll be fine.
All right, Brad, this is it. I'm going after Calder and getting that hard drive. All right, evac choppers are inbound. And I have a message for you. So, hey, Frank. Someone's been accessing these files, and I have a feeling it's probably you. So, if you find my body, do me a favor. Try not to piss on it or anything. What the hell, Vic? I can get her on the radio. What's the point? The point is, to feds like me, there's nothing more dangerous in this world than a journalist who stop at nothing to bust my ass. And if there's two of them working together, shit. I think we're past that. We'll see. Bombs? Where would you like to be dropped? that, then at least I know he's ugly and deaf. <sighs> of all my bad ideas, this is definitely, definitely the worst. These hands took as men. 
But now... No, 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 no. We give back. Hey, Caesar! <laughs> oh, shit, he's mad. Yeah, I know, big fella. I need that hard drive, and then I need to get out of here with my face intact! Brad! I've got the hard drive! I'm on route! Need extraction! Brad! Brad! Oh shit! Research into human immortality. It also contains all correspondence with the Pentagon. Come on, come on. I have various documentation, all confirming the involvement of the Secretary of Defense, various yes. generals, yes. aides, oh, and baby. even the. We are going places. Namely, the front page of the Times. <laughs> Frank. Hi. Give it to me. Just do it. Come on. Okay. I'm not gonna let you sell this to the highest bidder. This time we're gonna do it the right way. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Step away from the hard drive. Now! Ugh. Sorry, Frank. Bye. So, what? No more mini golf? Hammond needed me. Her tyrant had turned into a psychopath. So we took him down, and Hammond made sure he wouldn't be getting up again. In exchange, Hammond gave me the most important gift of all. Friendship. And more importantly, a big bomb to blast my way into Calder's lair. The sewers. Calder and his posse of creepy, smart zombies had turned them into some kind of den of spooky-ass shit. And Calder himself can talk. Whatever he's become, there's still a little bit of psycho douchebag human still in there. Naturally, I grabbed the intel and booked it. And that would have been where our story ended. 
Frank West, triumphant hero of Willamette, once again. Vic Jew. Thief. Hellspawn. She stole my evidence. She held a gun to my head, and now it's on. Frank, what's happening? Vic stole my camera! She has the evidence! What? Then get it back! Great advice, Brad! This isn't over yet, rookie! Screw you, Frank! Yeah! Remember me? I just told him we could talk about this. Are you hide behind glass? Take all you see. Claim this. Take that. Make it all yours. Give nothing back. All right, all right. A, a, a bit heavy, but I agree. I could do better. Tomorrow morning. Give me the camera back. I'm a new man tomorrow, I promise. You are part of the chain, Frank West. And I must break the chain. No, no. no you, you didn't. <sighs> God, I hate you. Okay. You know what? You hurt my student. Took my story. And now, you've blown up my favorite camera. So be it. Frank West vs. Zombie Lord. Let's roll, weirdo. You all right, Vic? Vic! Where the hell are you going? She left me! Again! Frank, can you hear me? Vic! Where are you? How you doing down there? You all right? Your concern is very touching. Head to the spa. I've opened the gate for you. Yeah, I don't think a pedicure is gonna help. Less staff, please. Yeah, you first. Yes, nice work, kiddo. We're ending this. 
this prank. Damn straight! Look at cover!
your sarcasm is intact! Clear off! Oh, shit! I'm gonna have to overload the last generator manually. What? You're insane! Frank West Journalism 101! You want some of this? I need you at Kitaro Plaza. I need medical assistance now. Okay, come on. Stay with me, kid. Stay with me. everything. Camera and Barnaby servers are wiped and you blew the hard drive to a million pieces, so... <sighs> hey, um, you weren't really gonna shoot me, were you? No, we're fatal. Oh, like, like the leg? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Fair enough. I deserve that. But listen, if, uh, if it comes up again, can you aim for the right one? It's kind of a piece of shit anyway. <sighs> Frank. I... I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I've had worse. And so will you. That's kind of the shit you go through when you're a good journalist, right? 
What about being a great journalist? What is that? An SD card? From your camera? You pulled it? Yeah. Before it blew up? Mm-hmm. Go on. What do you want for it? Oh, jeez. No, I mean it. I'll give you anything. All right. I want the story. My words, your pictures. Big coverage, big impact. Together, 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. I like the sounds of that. Plus mini golf. Oh man, not the mini golf. Yeah, okay. Mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you've sorted everything out, we need to get to the rendezvous point if we want to lift out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Grab anything you need, and let me know when you're ready to go. I'll get this gate open. So, did your heart grow three sizes this Christmas, Frank? Come on. We're good now, right? We're good? Let's publish this story. Save the world. Then we'll be good. You need to get out of Willamette first. Let's go. So, Miss Chu, normally I'd have to arrest you for the shit you pulled. You'd have to catch me first, copper. Oh, jeez. Think you could be a journalist without guerrilla tactics? Depends. If the government will stop destroying our lives. Sing! I am too busy for this shit! Well, they don't sound very happy. Shit! Think they're mad that they killed their daddy? We're meeting the helicopter on the roof of the parking garage. Just over the sky bridge. Oh, good! Nice and convenient! Hold up, Frank! Did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me! I think we pissed them off!
Give me a second with this door. No, no, no! We don't have a second! Please tell me that's all right. I need a vodka and whiskey. Shit! Pull up! Pull up now! Holy shit! Copter one is down. We need extraction now. Now, damn it! Oh, hell! We got company! Oh, no, no, no! Down. We're getting out of here.
If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would end. He'd die a hero, sacrificing himself for the good of his friends. He wouldn't need to follow it up to see the mess that unfolded in the months after. But Frank's not here to tell the story his way. He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes, <laughs> I kind of wonder how the story would have gone when he told it later. Would he have defeated Fontana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn? Added a sweet romance with the city engineer? I'm sure his second book would have sold as well as his first. But Frank's not here to tell his story. So he's gotta trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. 
And I say, the truth is better than fiction. Keep your eye on the prize. Frank! Ah! <laughs> 
Frank. Get down! Doctor, I hear what you're saying. Trust me, I want to believe you. But Frank is gone. No. No! My treatment is working. He's exhibiting numerous human qualities. Response to light, voice, heat, talking in his sleep. God heaven, just look at him! He's listening to us right now. He was eating people! We're not taking him, so just... Just put him out of his misery. Meet me at the farm as soon as you can. Mr. West? <laughs> I want to help you. But you have to show me you're still in there. There's a key hidden in the room. Use it to open this door. Come on, get up. Good. Good! Now unlock the door. My god. Okay, listen to me. The Pentagon knows that Obscura screwed up. They're sending an airstrike to level the entire city and cover up this mess. Oh, I'll explain more later. Look, I think I might know a way to cure you. But right now, we have to get out of here before Hammond kills us both. Hey, West! Are you understanding any of this? Uh, could you just write it down? I think I missed something in the middle. You ass. You want to live? Follow my instructions. Leave the shelter by the upper door. Go. Now. Keep going all the way to the end. I don't... I don't feel so hot. Probably a side effect of the treatment I administered. It also seems to have eliminated many of the benefits of your zombie state. But I have an idea about how you can get those back. Man. I wouldn't want to leave that laying around. Why are these zombies giving me shit? They must think you're human now. Fascinating. Right. Great! Now everyone wants to kill me! Blackburn, where now? You'll want to take a left up there. is still here. Can you see the swarming wasps? Go take a closer look. by some science wasp. Do it, Frank. We have to see what happens. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, Wrigley. Right now, they're altering the DNA in your zombie parasites. I've only seen this kind of biology in zombies we put through Barnaby's treatment device. Oh, shit. I think I might know what's going on here. 
I was in Barnaby's lab. Okay. Think. Think. Barnaby's machine thing. I heard a noise, and I must have bumped something. The humming and and glowing and, and some other shit. Crap. Value to zombie science. Yeah, okay. But you know what? I'm very excited about not having to eat people. You said something about a cure? Yes, yes, of course. But here, I'll open the gate. Take the escape tunnel out to the old town shelter. I have an idea, but you have to hurry. I'm on it. What the? Huh. There's one of Barnaby's wasps loose in the mall. Yes. Those solitary wasps are actually immature queens. Oh, so it's like a princess wasp. Cute. I suggest catching it. It's likely to have at least a small effect on your biology. <laughs> about this cure. We need to use the old treatment chamber in Barnaby's lab, but we'll need a few things to get it working. And we don't have much time. Hammond is preparing to hijack an obscurus evac helicopter. We need to be on that evac, because if we're not... The Pentagon is gonna barbecue our ass this. So where do we start? Head over to Dodd's Drugs. I'll tell you what to look for when you get there. I'm already on my way. <sighs> right! Yeah. <laughs> 
Dodge drugs. Okay, now grab all the analgesics you can get your hands on. Anal what? Painkillers, Frank. I heard something. Yeah. I need all these painkillers for? I'll tell you later. Next, we need the chamber's missing control key. Obscurus is holding it at Cochrane's pub. And there's something else. I believe you may share a hive mind connection with the immature queens. You mean princess wasps? If you gather all these immature queens and take them into Barnaby's chamber with you, it could have a very negative effect on any nearby zombies. Noted. I'll keep my eyes open. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said you could throw a party? Yeah! 
Okay, so where's this control key? Blackburn, I got the thingy. West, I am almost certain that you are the zombie that Barnaby tried to create. Disease immune, intelligent, non-aging, perfect. If I could just get a sample of your blood. Nuh-uh. I'm not gonna be anyone's lab rat. You're curing me, remember? Oh. Head over to Big Bucks Hardware. There's something else we need. Off the back shelf. Uh, solo what now? They're electromagnets, Frank. Absolutely no way. Because first it's blood, and then it's a lot of blood, and then you're cutting out my pancreas, and I really need that. Now what do we do next? Give me another moment. Just consulting my notes. Hey, my brain is on the line here, Doc. Give me a little hustle, okay? <laughs> Burn! Bam! <laughs> 
Ah! Uh. Uh. 
wondering how many dead people are in here. Still smells surprisingly like a bust. Got your phone. Battery's still good. Okay. Now email me all the files. Um, okay. All right, done. Thank God. Okay, one last thing. You'll have to head out to Westridge. Why? What for? A meeting with royalty. Call me when you get across the bridge. Man, for a scientist, is one hell of a promise. Blackburn, I'm in Westridge. Blackburn! Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry. Head to the high school. There's an evil pack there. Very organized, highly efficient. I bet my life the Alpha has a queen buzzing in his head. What, like the wasp queens that they used to make Zombrex? Same idea. Much more powerful application. Then let's crack some zombie skulls. <laughs> Try to get a hold of Hammond. Hey, Hammond, you there? Listen, it's Frank. Listen, I'm okay. I'm only up. 
sort of zombie. Look, I want to help, and I owe you more than I can count, so... Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a keeper. You've got a lot of nerve, asshole. Considering how much we've all been through. This is a sick goddamn joke. Frank West is dead. Now leave me alone. Wait, Hammond. Hammond? Shit. Bro. Yeah! <laughs> 
Could be useful. are the worst. Majesty, time the royal we got out of
how are we gonna clear it out then? Hammond! Hammond! It's me! It's me! Please, please, please! Do not shoot me! And if you do, please not in the head. Holy fucking shit! Yeah, I know. God, what the hell are you? Awesome! I'll just keep this handy. Woo! You look like you've never seen a mutant zombie man before. I don't? Is this for real? What are you even doing here? Obviously, I'm here to help with the hijacking. Wait, where's Blackburn? What the shit? Drop your weapons. Come out with your hands behind your head. We have the people surrounded. It's Obscurus. We could take them. I mean, you were just about to hijack one of their helicopters, weren't you? Frank, that was gonna be a surprise attack. We can't go toe to toe with armed soldiers in body armor. Shit. All right. Hammond, you cover my ass. I'll take care of Obscurus sure has impeccable timing. Oh yeah, perfect. Speaking of which, Blackburn. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hammond. <sighs> you're, you're, you're alive. Yeah. Surprised? I guess I shouldn't be. And I suppose Frank is also alive. And with you? The hell is going on here, Doc? I... I couldn't let it go. You're worth more to humanity and to me as a preserved specimen. And Hammond, I told Obscurus about the hijacking. Don't try it. You'll all die. Should have seen that coming. We're fucked, Frank. Obscurus is ready for us. I'll deal with Obscurus. You get your guys ready to hijack that chopper. I am not getting stuck in this town. Not again. Fuck that. And neither are any of you. What are you planning, Frank? Man. <laughs> First, I'm gonna deal with Obscurus. Then, I'm gonna find Blackburn and make her cure me. You sure you don't have brain damage? Frank, Obscurus is expecting us. It'd be a slaughter. Please, I already survived death. Have a little faith. Holy shit. Okay, 
keep radio open. We're ready to move when you need us. Here goes nothing. Think about it. my body to Obscurus. You had to trade the lives of Hammond and all her people. Oh, come on. I got one. Engage. Move this fire. Think fast. Oh, my God. up in here. Oh! 
trust here. What you are means too much to humanity. Vic has Barnaby's notes. You could read them instead of cutting me up. That research will take decades. I'll be dead by that point. Probably by a disease we might be able to eradicate if you could just see the bigger picture. <laughs> Chopper should be here soon. I'm going to look for Blackbird. How do you know there even is a cure? A pathological liar! Oh, God, I hadn't thought about that. Thank you for making me think about it. I hope I'm wrong, Frank. I'd hate to have to shoot you in your stupid mouth. Jeez, me too. Yeah. Let's just talk for a second. You are going to cure me, and then both of us are getting on that evac chopper. Or, I'm going to smash this window and rip you in half. You have three seconds to decide. One. Two. Fine. Fine. God damn you, Frank West. <sighs> We better get started. The treatment lab is through here. I'll guide you through the setup. Unfortunately, I can't enter the chamber myself. What? How stupid do you think I am? The Barnaby radiation in there is off the charts. It would be fatal for me, but it won't affect you. Oh yeah, and this doesn't smack at all of a trap. The clock is ticking. If you want your cure, you have no choice. One. Man, I sure hope I live to regret this. Frank! We will be here any minute. Will you be ready to go when it does? Just keep the engine running. All right. First thing you want to do is put the queen in the incubator. does not sound happy. Hey, Frank. Whatever you're doing down there is attracting a lot of zombies. Or it's coming in fast. Blackburn, what have you done? N nothing. No, I, I swear. It must be the Wasp Queen. She's summoning the horde to her defense. All right. Lock yourself in that office. And tell me what to do next. OK. You need to turn the painkillers into an aerosol. Everything you need should be in the workstation there. Here they come! Get your shit together! No one else dies! You got this, Hammond! Blackburn, the aerosol's ready! Now what? Now you have to administer it to the Queen! Okay, oh, shit! shit. Brace yourself! They're here! It's done! The Queen now sounds very angry, by the way! Next, you need to plug in the solenoids. Make sure you install them right side up. Which way is right side up? I, I don't actually know. I, I'm a neuroscientist, not an engineer. Wonderful. Frank, what did you do? What you told me to do? Hang on, I'm calibrating. You need to reroute the power to get them charged. Uh, there should be a lever or a switch or something. Uh, you want to be a little more specific, maybe? I can't. Because thanks to you messing with the machine and leaking radiation everywhere, I've never been inside the treatment lab. Well, you're welcome. It's done. God, how much more of this is there? If I tell you, you'll just 
to waste energy yelling obscenities at me. Well, you have me there. Ah! Keep firing! We got ammo in the truck! Move! Move! Hold on, Hammond. Next, you need to vent the gas from the top of the chamber. Look for a big valve. Tell me this is almost over. Hammond's people are dying up there. Almost. Guys, lost my place in the manual. I'll buy you a bookmark for Christmas. Check on Connor. Jordan, watch my back. Shit! Ugh. 